Hello, I bought these 6 OBD2 Bluetooth adapters and I tried each of them at least with one, sometimes with multiple vehicles. Each of these adapters already has its own review on my channel and all of these reviews will be linked in the description so you can get more information about each of them individually. This will be quick comparison to help you determine which of them should you consider buying and from these 6 Bluetooth OBD2 adapters there are two that are just not worth buying and I wouldn't recommend them for anyone. Just keep watching the video, I will fastly explain it. So the most important thing is the price. I already have them in those two groups. These three, Vpeak OBD11 Carista, can be bought under $50. Now this is the more expensive group. All of them cost from $120 to $180. And Tingdiak and Carly also require paying yearly subscription fee. Tingdiak $80, Carly around $130. Next is the vehicle coverage. OBD11 only works on VAG vehicles, which is Volkswagen, Audi, Skoda and Seat. And they also recently launched BMW app, so it works for BMWs and VAG vehicles. On the other hand, Tingdiak covers more than 10,000 car models, so it has the best vehicle coverage of them all. And this for one, they will just cover every common brand with more or less functionality for each brand but they will work for all common car brands. Now we can dive in their functionality. First thing you need to do with your OBD2 scanner is read and clear fault codes. The basic scanners can read codes only from the engine control unit. Better adapters will read codes from all control units. Each of these adapters is able to do a full scan which means they all can read codes from all units. Next function is reading engine life data. Now each of these adapters can read engine life data but the Carly is the only one that couldn't read all data from the engine control unit. There were a lot of data missing but the rest can read full engine life data. Next we have which can display those engine life data as graphs and that would be Tingdiak, VPIC and OBD Link MX. Now the OBD11 and Carista can also display engine life data but only as a text values. Next function is displaying full life data, that means ability to go to different control units and display life data in other control units than the engine that can be used for many things, for example figuring out if your car's mileage have been faked, which is pretty useful. So from these scanners, the ones that can access full life data is Tingdiak and OBD11. Ok, next function is bidirectional function, which means ability to command the car components to turn on and off with your diagnostic scanner, like turning on the engine fan, turning, turning on different relays and basically every electrical component in your car. So from this, the bidirectional function can be found only in the Tingdiak 2 and OBD11. Next we have the service functions. You probably already know service functions are codings that are used while servicing the car, like resetting the oil interval, unlocking locking the electronic brake calipers. Well, again, the winners are Tingdiag and OBD11. Both of them can do plenty of service functions, 10, 15, maybe even more depending on the car. And then if you use the right app, you can also do service functions with the VPIC, OBD Link and Carista, but only one, two or three service functions at most. And the Carly has like one or two service functions available for each vehicle. I think not even for each vehicle, for some vehicles. And the last function, but definitely the most fun function for me is the ECU coding which means unlocking the hidden functions of your car disabling those annoying features and customizing your vehicle. Now the Volkswagen and Audis are the most customizable vehicles and OBD11 is capable of doing a lot of codings so I would say is it is the best but of course it only works for VAC vehicles. For every other vehicle you can use Stingdia. Carly is also capable of doing the coding and those three devices have their own app but you can also use adapters like this. Carista does also have own coding app. There are a lot of features, especially for Toyota. You can use VPIC with Carista app, so you get exactly same codings like when you're using Carista adapter. Doesn't matter which adapter are you using, the codings are in the app itself. So you just need to get an app. OBD Link app doesn't have any codings, but same as the VPIC, you can use it with Carista or Beamer code or other ECU coding OBD2 apps. Okay, so I will give 
give you a quick recap from the best to the worst device. So Think the Act 2 is definitely the best. While it was on the more expensive side and you also have to pay subscription, it is made by Launch, which is a company that makes professional car scan tools. You know, those big tablet scan tools that you can find in car service, in car shops. And it does every function I have talked about. And it also have the biggest vehicle coverage, so definitely it is a win. The second best is the OBD11, but of course you can use it only with your Volkswagen or Audi. But if you have a Vakar, don't look at other scanners, you definitely need this one. The bronze medal goes to VPIC, while it doesn't have the most functions, it is the cheapest option and there are some good even free OBD2 apps that you can pair it with and do a lot of stuff. Like reading the engine life data, doing full scan, doing ECU coding, maybe performing some service function with Carista app. And it costs like 20 bucks. So this is the best budget pick. If you don't have anything and you are not ready to drop a lot of money, simply start with this VP. Place number 4 is OBD Link MX. Just because it is little pricey, it costs $140. But where this device excels, it provides fastest and most secure connection. Which doesn't really matter when you want to read fault codes, but when you are using Using some third-party app like Beamer Code, Carista app. This is safest adapter to use because you need stable connection to do the coding safely so you won't harm your control units. And the big plus is that it also works for Windows so you can also use laptop software with this adapter. If you want to try different OBD2 apps and laptop software, do some coding, this is a really good option for you. But I am putting it in fourth place just because the price is a little higher. I think it is worth the money but you know not everyone wants to spend $150 on this adapter. All of these four I strongly recommend. They are really good adapters. And now let's move them. I have Carly and Carista left. Now I don't think that Carista is the bad adapter. I really like the Carista app but this adapter can be bought only from the UK Amazon or AliExpress where the price is ridiculously high. I don't know why. And if you buy this VPIG adapter there is no thing that the Carista adapter could do and VPIG couldn't. VPIG can do really everything that Carista can. You can even use VPIG with the Carista app and it is cheaper. Carista adapter is not bad but there is no point in buying it when you can buy cheaper VPIG which can do exactly the same stuff. So that is why I think that you shouldn't buy Carista because there is no reason to. And last, the Carly adapter. Like this adapter is purely just disappointment. It is most expensive one. It is even more expensive than this Think Direct 2. While it can do maybe 20% of functions. The engine life data is incomplete. I paid $150 for this adapter and they want me to pay $150 subscription every year for a device that cannot even read the same life data data as this VP adapter with cheap OBD2 app or even free OBD2 app. It also lacks some features that were advertised like being able to detect mileage frauds. There is an used car check in the app but it just simply won't detect anything. You need access to full live data to really determine if car mileage is faked or not. Also I did wait like think, around more than six weeks to receive this adapter and their website is also designed to make you think that you are buying this adapter as one time payment. With without any subscription but in reality you need to pay every year and it is not clear on the buying page. It also doesn't have a lot of service functions. It is not bi-directional. This adapter it is simply just not worth the purchase. If you have that kind of money to spend on OBD2 adapter just get this thing the Act 2 is 100 times better.